Hello YouTube, just a little short update on the old Undertaker. I drained some think out of my think today and come up with some ideas. Just to let 1963 Impala and all that I'm thinking of and my think is working today. Here's what we got. Hang on there. Oh, well, we thought about a hood. So we come up with a hood. Got an exhaust on her. Probably too much sun glare on here today. Take some tinkering around and get this to fit the, the top of the grill a little bit, but I ain't got nothing bolted down. I think she looks pretty good. Just gonna put that half barrel of beer up under there, in there for the gas tank. Got a half inch and a half pipe tap and tap this out. Put threads in the bunghole so now I can get a gas cap fixture and put a gas cap on there. I have to weld that to the top of this. It's gonna have to be at a little angle to miss the steering wheel. Or the steering column. I think she looks pretty mean. Like that. Oh, there's the sun again. I'll get on the back side, get out of the sun here. I'll give her a fire up and see what she sounds like without exhaust. Even got a heat shield on it. Not enough to make any difference, but it's just on there for looks. Got that heat shield from my son-in-law. Couple of lengths, about three foot long. Cut her off. Put her on there. Hang in there and I'll fire her up. Give it a little, see what she sounds like. Set the camera down here on the tire. Hang in there. Got the lifters adjusted yet? Uh, retarded timing a little bit and show you what you sound like retarded here. I got her retarded too slow. I think she might quit. I had to take the carburetor all apart and clean that out. That's why it quit the other day on me. Found some chunk in the jets, chunk of crap in the jets. I'll give the old timing a kick back up again. That's probably about where it should be. 
Maybe he's still a little bit retarded, but it's always neat that way. Hang in there, I'll go give her a rev up. Blow a few cobs out of her. I still think it looks pretty darn good with that hood on her. I think I'll leave the shaper's oil on the barrels and everything just like it is. The one barrel I cut out was a little older than the other one, so it's faded out a little bit. Would have been nice to have two new barrels. She's a scrapyard special. We're going to put the end of the barrel in here gauges in there, use it for a dash, with a bung hole, a string column will go through the bung hole. I got my blood veins all in there, can't really see them very good in the dark on this side. There's the blood rushing through her right now. Steering right now. You don't even phase the engine when you steer her. Blood veins go up the steering sector, up under the deck, up under the hood. Oh, she's gonna quit. Just scared me. Oh, she did quit. See the blood running back out of the tank. And I found some letters at the advanced auto parts the other day. I got under tiller. I'm going to put under on this side of the grill and tiller over here. Well, that's what the old thing came up with this weekend. Just thought I'd show you a little quick update. And these were Schaefer's oil barrels. I use Schaefer's oil at work. Never had any problem with it. Schaefer Manufacturing Company, St. Louis. Thirty-eight. There it says danger. I'll leave that on there too, I think. Do not 
Use pressure to empty this container when empty. It may cause death or explode if you cut it with a torch. Well, we didn't cut them with a torch today. I know a lot of guys, well, I don't know too many guys, but I know some guys that got killed cutting a torch. 55 gallon drum up with a torch. Not close friends of mine, but I knew who they were. So don't ever take a torch to a 55 gallon drum if you think it just had oil in it. It still makes fumes when you heat it up and it blows up and kills you. One more quick go around here. Little distant shot. I gotta get my pivot on my axle made yet too. That's why I got it jacked up because I tried bracing everything up. So it wouldn't tilt. Because the frame wasn't real strong. Get down here and take a look at her from the ground and see what she looks like. Oh, the sun is too glary on us. We'll get over here in the shade and drive once. She looks kind of mean. There's the old rat rod in there. Ain't forgot about that yet. Still doing some stuff on that, but not much lately. Trying to get this tractor done. Well, I just wanted to show you what come out of my sink today. I guess I did the exhaust yesterday, so. Kinda like that exhaust. That's what I had. Got a piece of pipe at the dump and we used her up. A different hood emblem on there too. I like that one. It looks just like a gun sight. You sit on a steering wheel, you look right down through it like you're gonna aim and get somebody. Well thanks for watching. That'll take care of this video for this day. We'll try and keep you in touch. Bye-bye.